How is it going guys? Brandon Air here and today I'm going to be showing you guys 7 things you may be missing out on in Fallout 4. They're not crazy things, they're just things that a lot of people might not know about or just don't utilize the way they should. The first thing is dog meat. There is a perk if he wants to come to me. Well, I don't need him anyways, but there's a perk in here that it's, I think it's pretty sure it's called the Lone Wanderer. Oh, what am I doing? Where do I get the perk? Sorry. Pretty sure it's called the Lone Wanderer. And when... Yeah, right, I just had it. Where did it go? Right there. And s when you don't have a companion, you get crazy bonuses. But the thing is, dog meat does not count as an official companion. So when you have dog meat, you get all of these things. 15% less damage. Increased weight by 50 and then it goes up to 30% less damage and 100 and then 25% more damage and you can have dog meat while you have the perk on it does not it, the perk still helps okay number two is something that is not gonna work in the light so I really stop talking to me strong you're kinda weird it's bothering me so yeah I'm gonna go sleep really quick and then I'll show you guys. I hope you guys know about this. It's been in every single Fallout, excluding the, of course, the one and two that were not like the rest. I never actually played those. If you did, I kind of want to know what they're like. I might go watch the videos on them if there were videos back then. And I just realized how many Fallouts there actually are. Like, there's literally like 10 different fallout games okay I guess we're just gonna sleep for one hour forever hello all right there we go that should be dark enough but this is the pit boy light if you don't know what that is whatever console you're on it's whatever one you bring up the pit boy instead of just pressing it you hold the for me it's B and it gives you a little light and the color depends on what color you have it on in the settings See, look, it brightens it up, but, okay, you go to settings, display, and then you see down here you got HUD color and then Pip-Boy color. You change the Pip-Boy color, it changes the Pip-Boy, of course, and then HUD color changes the HUD. But that changed my flashlight, different color, brighter white. And that also changes that. Alright, the yeah. third thing I want to show you guys is God, it's pretty just a broad statement don't pass up junk junk is really useful in this game and I could just show you guys no I didn't mean to do that but junk it does not seem useful in the other games but in this game like here I can oh well that's not a good example <laughs> but here, let's go in here see all this junk I picked up randomly or I scrap things for it and it just comes in handy when building areas if you don't like building areas then you don't really need junk alright the fourth is also pretty broad and it's just utilize the ability to sneak you can steal so many fucking items when you sneak and it's ridiculous I've literally raided out the whole big city whatever the hell it's called I don't even know because I don't go there I just stole all the items and left and it's also good for shooting things. You get two times the damage, four times, or three times when it's melee. But that's pretty hard to do. Which, there are perks for sneaking. And I don't know what they are. <laughs> but number five is the companion carry weight. And dog meat does have a great companion carry weight. Not compared to the other ones. He has a bad one, but he can carry a lot of items. I'll see how much. I gave him all my weapons and half of my apparel so that's pretty good for a freaking dog now you can understand that other ones like Piper and any other like human or not dog can carry a lot more even this Brahmin can probably carry more but anybody but dog meat can carry a lot dog meat can but it's still limited I'm guessing strong could probably carry a lot because his name is strong oh and he's talking about human carrying things that's efficient number six guys is the conductor powered thingy majigger if you guys are still struggling how to get these light bulbs and these not these but these and all these weird lights to work and electricity to work 
It's pretty simple. I did not know about these. But these power conduits are in power, connected in switches. These two, these power pylons work as well. But I like these ones because they can go on walls, on floor. And what you do is you just put it up here on the roof. You connect your generator, which is attach Y, as you can see. Attach wire. And then it'll be highlighted as white. And you just attach wire again. And look, it gives you power from across the room. It does go a certain distance. And I'm there is a glitch that where... See, look, it's not going to get power no matter what. Because I placed it after the conductor was put on. So if I take out the wire and then do the wire again, it'll give me power again. Or not. Or just break completely. <laughs> so, yeah, just use power efficiently with conductors. Conductors are good. And the last one is this gate. I feel like no one knows about this gate. I look at all the bases people build, and they don't use this gate. I'm pretty self-confident about this gate because it is an amazing gate. Look how fluently it opens. You're missing out if you don't have this motherfucking gate. But it's in structures, wood, wood, no, it's not here, I don't think. It's not in miscellaneous. It is in, f yeah, fences and then junk fences. Oh, I don't have enough steel to actually get it, but it is the very first one. And it comes in handy. But all of these little things are kind of cool. They're all much different. And they don't seem like junk, honestly. But they will defend your place great. I had a bunch of synths attack. And yeah. And as a bonus tip... I just want to tell you guys to don't build big. Don't go over the line. I did this place and it looks ridiculous. I have a floating base in the sky and it looks stupid. You don't need all these tables unless you're good on the little stuff. And you don't need this. This, this whole thing up here. And number eight or nine, don't scrap things. Don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Do not scrap continue to not scrap stop scrapping just don't scrap like i'm fucking scrapping right now oh my god because it wasted it wastes the materials just go like that press b and as a third bonus <laughs> number 10 watch out for synths in your bases it's probably not a crazy oh <laughs> Oh, everyone cares for me. It's not probably not a crazy thing that's gonna happen in your bases, but it happened in mine. Someone was a synth, and they killed like two other settlers, and I was pissed off. I wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't, sadly. But yeah, guys, that's my seven in three tips. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up if any of these helped you out, and subscribe because I'm almost at 300. And maybe I will be by the time this video is up, so that's kind of weird. But thank you for watching, and goodbye!